Hey there guys, it's Silver, your host, and today we are going to embark on probably the hardest Digimon World challenge I have ever done. As the video title might suggest, we are going to play through the entire game with a Nanimon. I'll explain the rules as we begin. This should be a very, very interesting run. I'm Gigimon, tell me about yourself. Very good. Do you have a Digivice? Yes, we're going to have to pick yes for this run. Because if we don't, we are going to be really putting ourselves into a difficult position. Right. Day or night. Choose night or the beginning of this run will be impossible. Put simply, we are going to play through the entire game with nothing but a Nanimon. We are going to raise up a Nanimon from our starting Digimon, play through the entire game with it, and then when it fades away, we raise a new Nanimon and start again, and go through until we finish the entire game with nothing but Nanimon. Now, I'm doing this just to prove it can be done, because a lot of people ask me, in my Digivolution guides if it was hard raising the filth type Digimon like Numamon, Sukumon and Nanimon and I said any Digimon can be used provided you train them well so I'm gonna prove that with this playthrough right what's your Digimon's name for those of you who saw the previous playthrough on the channel, it's gotta be Mike. Yes. <clears throat> it's Mike. That's all his questions, he'll see us later. And I'll be quiet for the cutscene. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been downloaded. And yeah, this this playthrough is going to be interesting because it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. And I'll explain why as we go along. One second. We have awoken. If you hear a slight pop over the audio, that's my mic switch. Sorry about that. Right, he's getting up. Where am I? Welcome to Digimon World. What? Yikes. 
What's the matter? Asks the terrifying Tokomon. Who are you guys? These are Digimon. Digi... What? Huh? I thought you knew about Digimon. I got it. This is a dream. It's not a dream. Hey, wait. You're Tokemon. This is a realistic dream. Silver. This isn't a dream, but it's not real either. What are you talking about? Who are you? I'm Gigimon. I don't know any Digimon by that name. There are more Digimon than you know of. This is Digimon World. Digimon World? This world is not a dream, nor is it real. It's our world. Gee, looks too real to be a dream. Look behind you. You'll see what I mean. What? Is this Mike? I remember now. I got sucked into that Digimon keychain. That's right. Why am I here? Come to my house? I'll explain. <clears throat> Who's ready for exposition? Well, I'll finish this section and then I'll begin by explaining the difficulties we will face in the early parts of this run because there will be many. I invited you here to save us. Save you from what? We are in File City. It's the center of File Island. <clears throat> a city? Here? Well, it was a city. There used to be all kinds of Digimon who lived here. Digimon started to lose heart and moved out of the city. What do you mean? I'm not sure what caused it. Digimon started losing their speaking skills. Sounds like me after one too many beers. Okay. Some of them still talk, but they all forgot that they lived here. That's what you meant by losing heart. It's dangerous if we do nothing. But why me? You're good at raising Digimon, right? I'm good at it, alright. Don't you realize that you're speaking Digimon? Huh? No way. I'm speaking plain old English. To us, it sounds like Digimon. That's right. In this world, your love for Digimon will give you strength. Oh, good lord. Lord help us all in that case. Thanks. That's why I chose you. You can rally all the Digimon on the island. What? Hmm. You can count on me. Alright. Thanks. You're our only hope. Where do I start? Take Mike and explore the island. Find the cause of this danger and get Digimon to come back. Let's go, Mike. <clears throat> Wait, I haven't finished yet. Yeah, we're done with his dialogue. We can't begin this run without our Nannymon. So I'm going to... I'm going to get our Nannymon. And then I'm going to explain why this run is so hard. Now you see... Nannymon is a filth type Digimon who also learns a small repertoire of fighting Digimon moves. We don't get decent filth type moves for a Digimon of that kind until, well, the mid game to the late game. For those of you who are veterans, we have to go all the way to Factorial Town. Which means we're going to be doing the early stages of this run with a Digimon 
that has a very limited repertoire of the fighting type moves it can learn. And not only that, when whatever rookie Digimon you have digivolves into Nanimon, it doesn't gain any stat boosts, and its stat boosts from training are slightly reduced. So, we've got a Digimon that won't gain stat boosts by Digivolving and is harder to train with a limited move set. But I'm going to go through this playthrough to show you how it should be done. Now, I already have a guide on the channel that shows you how to get Nanimon. What I'm going to do is put that guide up there in the corner now. You should be able to see it. If you want to see how to get Nanimon, have a look at that guide. Otherwise, I'm going to skip forward to our Gabumon digivolving into a Nanimon. Basically, you have to scald it, your rookie Digimon, when its happiness and discipline are at zero. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'll be right back when we have our Nanimon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our Nanimon. Right. Don't let that rose stay on it for too long, the little rose emblem. That means its stats will start draining in exchange for its happiness going back up. And you don't want that. So what our plan is, I now have to make this guy... See what I mean? He can learn about three fighting moves and all the rest, <coughs> literally all the rest, are filth type moves. Which is going to make this run extremely difficult. So what I'm going to have to do now is train off camera to get our stats to a reasonable amount where we can go and fight other Digimon to try and learn one of the few moves that's going to carry the early part of this run. That being Megaton Punch, or maybe even Dynamite Kick. It's one of the few moves it can learn, and we're going to have to use it because Horizontal Kick is useless. So, what I'm going to do, a bit more training here, and we'll be back once this guy is looking like he can actually fight things, because he can't right now, he won't manage it. Alrighty, we are back with a with a totally non-ironic and genuine status update on Nanimon's training. This is what we're at in terms of stats after a full day of training, barely past where we started. And I'm not gonna lie, we struggled against the first Agumon in the game. The Agumon that you have to fight to leave the opening area because Nanimon's opening move horizontal kick has got such a slow animation time so I figured the only way that we are going to make the early part of this run work is to actually go to Coella Point now get Coellamon, Coelamon, however you pronounce it and get Coelamon and Betamon to join the city. So then at least we have a steady stream of items and we can slowly grind up to the point where we can beat Palmon. Because Palmon's going to be an obstacle in this run. Palmon. Because let me tell you something. Palmon has one of the quickest attacks in the game, Poison Claw, and Horizontal Kick is slow. I will demonstrate after we've got Coelamon and Betamon in the city just how hard a regular battle is with this guy and his current moves. Hey, are you human? You can imagine probably what's going to happen, right, if we tried to put the fastest move in the game against one of the slowest. 
Not counting Buster Dive, but Buster Dive actually does damage. I'm Coelamon, the fish Digimon. Did you come to see me? Yes, we looked all over. We actually did, because there's no way to finish this game without you. Ha, huh, is that so? The bridge upstream is broken and you want to go across, right? I see. Fine. I'll help you. Now walk on our heads, don't worry. Okay, here we go. This world needs more teamwork. Let's meet again. Right. So yeah, just for the record, we got Argumon because I wanted to actually test just how difficult a fight against the standard Digimon would be. No, those Muchomon will destroy us. We have to avoid them at all costs. That medium recovery might end up having to sell for money as well. Because for those of you who are well versed in this game, you will realize money is very tight in the beginning of the game. We only get money and items that make us money by defeating Digimon. And if we don't have a Digimon that's capable of defeating other Digimon, we won't have any progress. So we're gonna have to hoard all the better items that we get and sell them as an insurance policy, almost. Right, Betamon, Grun, Ruru. Something came back to life. Was it this awful translation by any chance? Question mark. I used to live in a city. You smell like the city. Whoa. It's scary. I left the city and lost my memory. But thanks to you, I remember everything now. I'm going back to the city, okay? Of course. I'm sure the city is more lively now than before. You've lied to that poor Betamon, Silver. You have told a terrible lie. Really? Alright, I'll try my best. Terrible lies. Right. Okay. Our next goal, once we have um, Coelamon, Koalamon, is to try and get all of Nanimon's stats up to 100 and his HP and MP up to 1000 so we can actually start fighting things. So let's go and get Koalamon because I am not exaggerating when I say we cannot fight a single thing as we are. We are utterly incapable of fighting our opponents in this current state. Like I said, we got wrecked by the opening Agumon that has 400 health and worse stats than we do. But to those of you who are uninitiated in this game, you will soon learn that attack priority far outweighs your Digimon stats in most instances. You can just rush down enemies with really, really fast attacks and pretty much stunlock them out of existence. Nope, no, if we walk near you, we are dead. It's over. It's over. Stay away, Muchomon. Stay away. What I'm going to do as well, just for the fun of it, I'm going to go now and for a laugh, for a good old giggle, oh, a bridge. Yeah, we better cross that quick. What I'm going to do as well is show you by fighting one of the opening Betamon a bit later in the game. Or a bit later after we've got our stuff that we need done. And you'll see how much damage we take against one Betamon. And because our Digimon has poor discipline, because we had to scold him to get him 
to actually turn into an Animon, he doesn't hold the toilet for more than a couple of minutes. Tops. So he will just go to the toilet on the floor all the time. So yes, put simply, every obstacle is stacked against us in this playthrough. Every single reasonable obstacle is stacked out of our favour. And you see, I got so distracted trying to go to the toilet there that I didn't even remember what I was trying to do, which is to get Coelamon. Right. This is going to be... Oh boy, it's going to be painful, everybody. Because then you know what's even worse, don't you? If he goes to the toilet on the floor too many times, he becomes a Sukumon. And then that's our entire run over. Because then the only way I'll be able to salvage the run is to go to Trash Mountain and speak to King of Sukumon to turn him back. And we can't even do that because we haven't unlocked Gear Savannah yet. It's going to be fun. Oh, it's you. Silver, the bridge is fixed. I hear you're making a city. I got a request. I want you to help me just like I helped you. Huh? Making a city means saving this island. Everyone will be saved. Does that mean you'll come to the city? Yes, I'll go to your city. Perfect. Right. Now then. I don't know how we are going to feed Nanimon now. Because we're out of food and I can't find any... Digi mushrooms anymore. Any, anywhere. Anywhere. Words, silver. So this is going to be a fun little jaunt. That's one way to put it. A fun little jaunt. And we're not even going to try and fight Kunamon yet. It's the, um, fighting Kunamon right now is the equivalent of putting an Agumon against a Greymon. We will just dissolve. We will cease to function. Uh, any Digimushrooms around? Nope, nothing. Because even RNG wants to punish me here. If we don't find Digimushrooms, we can't feed Nanimon. So then the problem gets even worse. Because then he will just start... Absorbing his stats to put his happiness back up. Which just becomes a permanent cycle. It's literally a self-defeating prophecy that never gets any better. <laughs> right. And why did I sign up to this, you might wonder? Just to prove that it can, by some insane metric. Nope, nope. Be done. We won't, we won't beat them, because they have Poison Claw. The same move that a Palmon does. Right. Okay. So, we are back at base camp. We survived a very small journey outside of the city walls. I'll be back once I've somehow managed to get this guy's stats up to a passable level. See you in a second. Alrighty guys, and we are back. <coughs> and now, you are going to see the core issue of this little run right here. After three days of training, we have managed to get our stats and our happiness and discipline up to an even keel, where we will actually be strong enough to fight something and not die immediately. Immediately, in the active word. And our happiness and discipline are reasonable, so he's not constantly angry and draining his own stats. So we have that now. And you're about to witness the first big snag of this run. Our first hurdle. So it took four days, three or four days, to get our stats here. And now the next hurdle is actually battling things. While I've been off screen, I sold the restore that you get given to you by Tokemon at the beginning of the game to make some money. 
so that we had enough money to actually get some meat and train Nanimon so we could even, you know, start trying to do this run. Our next problem is actually fighting things. And I'm going to display why. Now, for, for this run to have any hope of working, we need Nanimon to have a move that isn't horizontal kick because it's so horrendously slow. And by horrendously slow, I mean it's bad. Remember how I said earlier on that we were getting our butt kicked by the first Agumon in the game? Let me, sh let me show you an actual battle against one of the weakest enemies in the game, the starting Betamon that you fight, right? Keep this in mind. I have a medium recovery, seven small floppies, and three MP floppies in my inventory, along with about 1,000 bits, yes, exactly 1,000, that we need to keep to buy Nanimon food so we can continue the run. So if we end up spending that, we're in trouble. Watch how hard a basic battle is with this guy. Keep in mind, these are standard easy enemies at the start of the game. Check this out. You'll see what the problem is almost immediately. That was one fight against the weakest Digimon in the game. You saw how hard that was. We now somehow have to go and fight Digimon like Palmon with quicker moves and nearly three times the health and Kunamon who has a dangerous finisher and literally three times the health. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? We're going to go and fight Palmon. So I'm going to cut forward to being in front of Palmon. And we're going to try that fight. Because if we can at least manage to do that, then we might be in with a chance of winning here. Or at least getting things started without Megaton Punch. Because then we can get a better supply of meat. And sell the brain chip she has for a lot of money. So I'll be right back. We're going to go give that a try. Alrighty, we are back in front of Palmon. Here we go. We're going to have to try and beat her somehow with our 100 stats, 1000 HP and MP Nanimon. This is probably going to be like climbing a mountain, but this is going to prove the point. If we fail this fight, if we fail this fight, I'm now going to have to go and fight Gaborimons in Drill Tunnel until we can get hold of Megaton Punch. Because if we can't beat her with Horizontal Kick as like one of the weakest starting Digimon you need to get into the city, this run will be impossible. I said I'm a flower, aren't you listening? Oh dear Lord Palmon, I'm listening. Gaming gods help us, here we go. We're gonna get our butts kicked.
we might actually be making some progress at this point. I was um, not expecting that. Come on. Come on, Nannymon. You can do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're in trouble now. That has a very high chance of poisoning. Use your finisher. Good. We've got to contend with poison now. Right. Okay. This is going to be hell. Like, legitimately hell. Thank goodness we managed to block that. Okay, we're hanging in there. Just barely. Just barely hanging in there. Okay. We're having to contend with double poison. Don't space out, Nanimon. I need you up on your feet. This is... Keep in mind, guys. This is like one of the weakest boss Digimon in the game. The weakest. <laughs> oh, dear. We are going to need Megaton Punch, folks. Two, five, six. If we can land another finisher, we've won. Right. Heal up. Right, I think we can win this now. I think we've got it. Just barely. Just barely made it. Yes. Okay. This has been like climbing a mountain. A thousand bits and a brain chip which we can sell for more money. Right, we can actually do this. It's not proven impossible, but it's going to be very hard. It's peaceful there. Yes, come to the city. You've got to go to the city, as George Michael would say. Sounds like fun. I'm Palmon. You'll find me useful. The second easiest boss fight in the game. And we really struggled with it. So yes, I do hope that these like these like couple of fights that I've shown you have highlighted just how hard the early game is going to be. At least now, we have giant meat, which can be, well, eaten or sold for more money, which we might have to do to conserve our very limited funds. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go heal up at the city, and we're going to do some brains training off camera. Because brains training allows you to sometimes learn moves, as my good buddy Ace told me. So that's our plan. Now then. Hello again. Day five of our little chaos run of Digimon World. <laughs> we got to 150 brains, and as I said, you learn a new move at every increment of 50, or you have the chance to, we didn't. So we're still just stuck with horizontal kick. So our plan now is to head off to Drill Tunnel and try and learn Megaton Punch. It um seems like our most viable option to get this started. It's not gonna work otherwise. We've proven that we can beat some simple, weak Digimon. 
And I'll now show you why getting Palmon was so important. Now you see, Palmon gives you giant meat. Upgrade your meat farm from a regular one to a giant meat farm. Now, you can get these pieces of giant meat, and then you can immediately go and sell them. Because they are more cost effective to be sold than they are to actually be used. You sell them to then go and buy more regular meat and save money. Watch this. You will see that my bits have gone down because I bought some more small recoveries off camera. So we sell all three of these giant meats. Yes, like this. And then we go and we buy... A, you can pretty much buy 15 regulars for the same price and they're far more cost effective. So we buy those and now we're going to head off to Drill Tunnel. This Dromojamon right here is our best bet at making the run viable. Let's see if we can learn a move from it. It's hot. Do something. What's going on? It's hot. Oh, it's too hot. I can't take it anymore. Our best and only chance at this point. We're going to have to try and learn one of his moves. That kick move we can learn. But this is one heck of a hard fight. Megaton punch. We need that. That move right there. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Tank it, Nanimon. You can do it. Nani. Right. Better hit him without finisher. Right. Hit him as hard as we can. It's our best bet. Boom. This is still doable. Good. We managed to stop him. This Dromojamon is our best bet. If we can learn it, we have a chance. Keep those hits going. Keep them going. We can make it. Keep hitting him like that. Almost there. Not like that. Bad nanny mod. We're hanging on by the skin of our teeth here. We might have to use that medium recovery I plan to save. One more good hit for our finisher. Right. And we win. Can we learn Megaton Punch? Right. Good. Megaton Punch? Yatta. No, we didn't. <sighs> well, that was our only chance.
That was our only chance at learning it. So do you know what I'm going to do? Since I know we can learn it, I'm going to have to go off screen now and grind against this Dromodromon until we manage to somehow get the move. <laughs> because this is our only shot. This run is not doable without a better move. And since we've only got a very low chance of learning filth moves through training, Dromodromon is our best bet. So, I will be back once we've managed to learn it. That's our plan. Right. That Dromodromon's just clipping through the scenery. Good old Dromodromon. Right. I'll be back. This is where things get really tricky. Really tricky. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been very lucky here. After one grinding session off, sc off screen, just one battle since our previous recording, I reloaded the save and tried to fight this Dromodromon again, we have learned dynamite kick. 40 minutes in, the run can officially begin. I got weird because of the heat. I know it's hot, but be cool, man. Wow, you can tell this game was made in the 90s. The more we dig, the hotter it gets. The tunnel is in a volcano. I don't think that that's the only reason, or it's the only reason. Maybe there's a fire nearby. You see a fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Hmm. I don't got a choice. I must bear this heat and keep on digging. Right. We'll check out the calls. It'd be great if the tunnel goes through. You're a nice guy. I'll hurry and dig this tunnel. Perfect. Now we finally have a chance to actually do this. So the first thing I'm going to do immediately is head back to the city and save. No questions asked. Like, no questions asked. And then we will begin actually getting stuff done. We might try and fight Kunamon next. That's the plan. Right. Okay. And then once Kunamon's defeated, we'll start digging some dirt and try and unearth the drill tunnel. Well, the lava pond in Drill Tunnel. So we can go to Gear Savannah. Because the Gear Savannah is where we'll actually start to get some of our main moves. That will make this playthrough not just a dream, but a reality. So lucky. We have Dynamite Kick now. Right. Okay. Horizontal Kick. Dynamite Kick. Very good. Close range and paralysis. High MP cost, but we'll grind some MP later on in order to make this doable. So, back to the city we go. And then it's time to fight Kunamon. I was hoping, you know. I checked a guide, and the three moves that Nanimon can learn, fighting moves, are counter, which is an extremely rare and hard to get hold of fighting move, dynamite kick and megaton punch. <clears throat> so it was a 50-50 a draw as to whether we got one of those two moves from Dromodromon. I find it funny though how it used Megaton Punch like maybe 10 times against us in that fight and Dynamite Kick like once and yet we learn Dynamite Kick. But oh well, not looking a gift horse in the mouth. Right, what's this machine? Oh that, that's first, that is a save machine for memory card battle data. Using that machine you can save your current partner's data for battle. Just press X and the machine will tell you what to do. Alright. Let's drop save. Alright, cool. 
Perfect, silver. Perfect. And now, we are gonna go stock up on some small recoveries. And we are gonna try and do the very difficult fight. We're gonna go and try and fight Konamon. Which is gonna be very fun. So, we'll be back in just a moment for our little soiree against the insectoid Digimon. This is going to be even more fun than Palmon, I'm sure. Alrighty, let's get our Nanimon fed and we're going to keep on keeping on. Right, make sure the dude has had his food. Ah, oh, that rhymes. Funny. Okay. Another one? You are hungry, my boy. You are hungry. Looking good. Alright. Nice. Let's go and get some more recoveries. Because... I do not want to risk fighting Kunamon without them. Because very, very hard boss fight very hard boss fight. No two ways about it. We're gonna need a lot of recoveries here. This is an item shop. Go figure. Insurance policy. I'm hoping that's enough. Right. This limits our funds quite significantly, but... We need to win this fight. We have to win it. <laughs> At all costs. Because once we do, we have completely opened up the route to Tropical Jungle. And we can start venturing further outwards. Granted, we'll probably do that after we finish with Drill Tunnel. Because... The best place to get some good filth moves for Nanimon is going to Trash Mountain, as I've probably mentioned already. And if I haven't, yes, Trash Mountain. Just beyond Gear Savannah, or near the edge of Gear Savannah. That's where we can go to get some good attacking moves. Um, Odor Spray and... Poop throw, I think. <clears throat> Which will be a damn sight better than horizontal kick. Right. Let's, um... Let's do this. What we're going to do... We're going to... Alright. Here we go. I'm hungry. Give him food. Have a Digimushroom. Yep. Enjoy your noms. That's good. Let's fight. The moment of truth. Are we ready for Kunamon? <clears throat> Our biggest obstacle yet. Wow. That's more like it. That's more like it. That's the kind of damage we need to see. That's the kind of damage that makes this run viable. Okay. Come on, Nanimon. Let's get him. That's good. That's good damage. Yes. We've got this easy now. Does more damage than I thought it would. Go for it, my dude. Kick him. Yes. Keep on hitting. Almost there. Get him. Get him. Almost. One seven nine. One more hit should do it. Oh no 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 no! This is not going to be good. Brace yourself. 
Ooh, that hurt. And it's over. Well done. Yar. Now I'm feeling like we've got this run a bit more under control. MP chip. And a lot of bits. A lot of bits. This isn't good. What should I do? Come to the city and work off what you ate. Okay, I'll do that. I'm an insectoid Digimon named Kunemon. Nice meeting you. That's... My awesome people is the sweet sound of progress. Don't you like it? I think, even though I was talking to my buddy Ace on the phone earlier, I told him that I'd, um, decided to do this run between the last little segment of the recording before we decided to go back to the house, Gigimon's house, and now. And he said, you're seriously doing this? And I said, yeah. He recommended that I save the MP chips. I'm probably going to use this to make life a bit easier. <coughs> nope, none of that. Scald. Right, eat the MP chip. We're going to need you to have a bit more MP to make this a bit easier on us. So what we'll do to finish up, we'll uh, do a touch more training, get our HP stats up, and then we've probably got a chance of getting through the early game. I say probably because why am I going the long way around? So used to doing that now that it's uh, kind of biting me in the butt a bit. Yeah, we might just have a chance of doing this now that we have Dynamite Kick. Provided we get a bit more of a health boost in. So that's the plan. We'll um do a bit more light training. Get our HP stats close to our MP stats. And then we might, with a bit of luck, be able to do the dirt digging. Defeat Merrimon. And uh, yeah, go to Gear Savannah where the run can really start. But the fighting Merrimon and dirt digging will probably be our next part. <clears throat> In fact, it will definitely be our next part. So we'll do that training that I mentioned. And yes, that's where we'll leave things off because we've made a shockingly good amount of progress. Compared to where we were just 20 minutes ago in terms of the video. So yeah. We'll um. We'll roll with it. That is our plan of action. Right. Bit of healing. And a bit of training. Gotta go to the toilet. Let's do that. Back to File City. And this part should probably come out just under an hour. Give or take. And I also, while I was on the phone with my buddy Ace, checked, well, he checked, and then I followed up in checking, uh, YouTube. And I'm apparently the only person on all of YouTube who is who is doing a Nanimon, a Nanimon only run. So I'm clearly a bit insane, but oh well. Sanity is purely subjective here, folks. Eat, my boy, you're gonna need it. You are definitely gonna need it. Right, have that meat. And training continues. Gonna try and get his health to about 1,500. So maybe three more training sessions and that'll be enough. Enough. 
I am actually stunned he doesn't want to use the toilet. Oh well. We'll manage. It'll all be alright. Like I was saying just um, just a short while ago, I didn't even think this run would be doable. But um, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen if it's the last thing I do. As a, a thank you to all those people who subbed to the channel for Digimon content. Because I was looking at my analytics a little while back and yeah, about 15% of our entire viewer base is here purely for Digimon World. Didn't expect that. Eat, my friend. Eat your foods. And he's good. And he also needs a toilet. <clears throat> Let's go take him. Let the lad go do his business. Couple more... Or maybe one or two more training sessions... On... HP. And then we'll be all right. Keep in mind that the stats that we've got now would probably be the stats that we'd have as soon as your rookie Digimon digivolves to its following evolution under normal circumstances. So, yeah, we've just managed to regain our footing and get stats that look like the beginning of a champion Digimon. The beginning. One more, and that should be enough. Right. He's probably going to want to sleep now, isn't he? Apparently not. Um, okay. One more on... One more on offense, then. I'd rather he can hit a bit harder. Perfect. That'll do. And now he's tired. So, guys, I'm going to let Nanimon sleep. And we will end the first part of our crazy little notion of a playthrough. He's tired. Yeah, he needs to rest. By doing this. So, go to sleep, my buddy. Love that sleeping sound, like a growl. Okay. And this, my awesome people, is where we'll leave it. If you enjoyed this crazy idea of ours... Good, he's not tired anymore. And would like to see more, do feel free to leave a like, possibly comment, or maybe even subscribe. You guys have really been enjoying my Digimon content, and I appreciate it. And there will be some more very soon. So guys, I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon or night. And I will see you again very soon. Take care guys.